Okay, I'm just going to demonstrate some of the loops um, in soloed and in context. Um, so this one, this first one, it's a growled kind of sax sound. You can see the label there. Then I faded it out and I'll just solo this next track because this is where some of the other ones are. So here we go. They're numbered because there are many of them, so I haven't been able to give them all names. Here are some others. There's num number 142, 143. That one's too short for us to see. Let's just zoom in a little bit more. There we go. So. So again, this one sounds a bit distorted because it is a, a growl technique on the saxophone. That's like kind of where you sing and you play at the same time. Anyway, that's the natural part of the sound. Some are more distorted sound and some are more clean, especially the alto saxophone ones are a bit cleaner. Um, and here's what it sounds like all together. Here are now some examples of the alto saxophone. If we solo that, it's very high in the alto register. Obviously much higher sounding saxophone, alto sax is higher than tenor. Let's give it a listen in context. So of course they're labeled with the key, the time, uh, the BPM and just a generic number, which sample number they are. Okay, so here's some of the flute samples. So I've just got this flute track soloed, so you can hear. So there's a couple of different samples here. If you have a look, number 104, number 105. So this one has, again, like a similar growl technique, singing and playing at the same time, which kind of distorts the sound. And some of them, of course, like this one, kind of have more of a Latin feel, playing up in this super high register of the flute. Let's hear it in context. <laughs> <laughs> 